Alright guys, welcome back to your 11th C++ tutorial. And last tutorial we covered the basics of an array and how to create it in pretty much the most basic, easiest form. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you a different way to create it. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and just go ahead and type the data type of your array and the name of it and what or excuse me how many values you want to store in it and that's a line end it with a semicolon and bam right now we're telling our compiler this we're gonna create an array and it's gonna hoard hold five values so instead of putting an equal sign right here and setting equal to five values right now you have another option as well what you can do is go ahead and type in the name of your array the index and you can set each index individually and this might be a little easier to see let me just go ahead and copy this copy this might be a little easier to comprehend how you populate values in an array so the zeroth index of the array or the zeroth element we're gonna set to 19 the first one uh, let's just go ahead and set that to like 234 um, let's run through this the second index is going to be equal to 3 or something. The third index is going to be equal to whatever the heck that is. And the fourth index is going to be equal to, you know, whatever the heck that is. Surface saying, all right, you said 5 right here, so don't you go to 5? No, no, no. Remember, by putting 5 right here, you're saying, all right, we're creating an array with 5 elements, but since you start every computer language is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It actually goes from 0 to 4, which is 5 elements. So that's pretty much a different way that you can fill an array other than the way you learned before in the last tutorial. So, I mean, either that way or this way they give you the exact same outcome just some people prefer that some people prefer this and when you're building programs in the future you might need to do it the first way you might need to do it this way but anyways for what we know so far they produce the exact same outcome so another thing I didn't teach you guys and you might be able to figure this out but I just want to show you guys anyways instead of just printing out you know like bacon uh, 2 or something which is going to print out 0th index 1 2 which is 3 let's just go ahead and see that 3 right there you can also like um, use arithmetic to add elements of an array together so bacon 2 plus bacon 4 plus bacon 4 again alright Oh yeah, I was going to add this up in my head, but uh, yeah, I definitely can't do that. So it's going to add this twice, 4, 4, plus 2. So let's go ahead, build and run this, and we have this uh, 10,869. So anyways, I just want to show you guys, one, you have a different type, or excuse me, a different way of building an array, and also, you can treat these array items or array elements just like you would any other variable and add them together print them out pretty much anything you can do with a variable you can do with your pieces of your array so I know that this wasn't the most useful program we ever built either but again I just want to go over the basics of the pieces of our programs before I get into building a complex program so anyways whenever you see me building an array like this you'll know what it means and yeah yeah I'm gonna be done talking because I got more important stuff to do more important topics that we need to cover so anyways study this tutorial and once you learned it you're ready to move on to the next topic so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial